Hey, YT World, this your girl, La Kiki, Miss D. I see that that is, and I'm coming at you, coming at you, coming straight at y'all with uh, Basketball Wives Season 8, Episode 7. I need to stop saying Basketball Wives Season 8, Episode 7. I need to just say Basketball Wives Episode 7, because you know what? Y'all already know the fucking season. I'm going to put it down below. But hey, if you like this video, I'm not going to sell it. I think somebody else say that, so I'm not trying to steal nobody's shit, but I'm still saying the same shit. Like, if you like what you're going to see and you like what you're looking at right now, <laughs> you know, I look a fucking mess, but, um, you want to hear this shit pretty much, <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe to your girl channel and make sure you, um, hit that notification bell because I always got shit popping up at random fucking times and you'll get it on time when you, when I do it, um, uh, <laughs> make sure you share to this video to anybody care. And if they don't like it, share that shit anyway, because that's my motto. Uh, okay. We leave off with Jim being, um, with, uh, Jim being sorry, but not really apologizing for shit. Uh, pretty much that's what I got. Like you said, I'm sorry for whatever I might have said. No, bitch, you said it. It's not what, what you ever, whatever you might have said. You fucking said what you said, but the point of it. You ain't said shit about her daughter. You said shit that you, her daughter was doing when she was some shit at what she did as a parent. Like, that's what you said. And I would have said, I'm sorry for bringing your daughter in the conversation by saying she did this and this and that while you was out there thoughting. But I really did still mean that you was thoughting out here in these streets and your daughter was taking care of the household. That's what you really want to say. Um, Malaysia doesn't think Evelyn and Jen would... Uh, make up. They outside chatting and stuff and she was like, I don't think they're going to make up. Right at this point, I think Evelyn like throwing chairs and plates all around the house and all that. Girl, she crying like shit. You were wrong as shit. Um, pretty much she go upstairs and um, uh, Malaysia and them go up like, okay, let's see what's going on right now. And they go up and Malaysia like, Evelyn, you crying. Like, what happened? Bitch, you gave in? Pretty much gave those teas. And um, Evelyn was like, yeah, I pretty much gave in. I just wanted her to apologize about my daughter saying the stuff she said about Shawnee's, which was nothing as we all saw. Um, and we can replay that back. And I know they're going to replay uh, I can't even talk. Why I can't talk? I don't. I talk too fucking fast for my own good. Sometimes I'd be stumbling over my fucking words. But anyway, <laughs> she... Um, pretty much forgave um Jim for that and she's like I'm just gonna move on she like oh that's all good but um I, I can forgive but I ain't gonna forget so I yeah I'm not over it bitch pretty much so they go to the beach boardwalk and they start riding bikes that was random as fuck okay you want to ride the $20 bike ride some um, for an hour or the whole day or whatever great um and then they start they start uh, talking about OG again. Her Snapchatting on the bike, doing the selfies, like, when she riding on the bike. I'm on fucking vacation. Now, it's a problem with her snapping and Snapchatting or riding the bikes with them and her snapping a great picture in the sun. Like, literally, y'all fucking nicky picky about anything. Just say y'all don't like the bitch and we're going to just talk about whatever the fuck she do. Pretty much. And then they go drive these little go-kart type of carts or whatever, type of cars or whatever on the street. These little street cars slash go-kart looking things. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, so y'all childish as hell. So y'all going to do a childish thing as well. But then talk about somebody taking Snapchat pictures and all that. And fucking all you do, Evelyn, is do that shit on your um, IG. So what the fuck? Um... OG wants to talk to Malaysia after they go and they sit down and eat or whatever. And OG starts bringing up like, yeah, I want to talk to Malaysia about the drive by she pulled on me at CC's engagement party. She's like, I don't think that was the fucking right time. That was her engagement party. And I just want to address it and just did the shit. Um, Shawnee wants Jen to apologize to Malaysia and Malaysia's think that She's like, I never had a chair thrown at me. So I fucking think that we both need to apologize. And Shawnee, of course, picking sides. I don't think that you have the right, Jen, to say you need an apology when Malaysia was just a teensy bit like this. And you bought that energy out of somebody. Okay, so I say something about somebody or talk trash to somebody and then they go and try to kill me with a gun. You bought that out of her to want to kill you. Fuck you mean. Fuck out of here. 
Like, it's not the, you made my emotions so high, I can't control myself as a grown fucking woman or male that I'm going to fucking try to kill you or harm you with bodily harm or with a weapon. Bitch, what the fuck type of media, media aider are you? Like, fuck out of here. You just want to have something against Jen and just create some kind of um, thing for the show, pretty much. Um, and Jen, she does has a right to have an apology for that. Um, Malaysia does not buy this new Gen X. She doesn't have any more placement in the storyline and she has to keep up some shit. So if she can't keep up the OG one, she want to put the OG storyline in the back burner right now because she needs to drag out the rest of the seasons to have a storyline. So she want to put that in the back burner and just focus more on I still can't stand Jen. That's where we are going with this. For real, for real. Let's be serious for with this. Um... OG insists they have a big powwow um, with all with all the girls or whatever to stop this game of telephone. I fucking agree. Um, we go to the scene where Cece goes wedding dress shopping, try on her dresses. Um, she has a man of um, honor, which is Ron. I thought that was kind of cute, having a man of honor. Um, and her mom is so pretty. That's what I put on here. She was so, she was so pretty. Um, her heritage is really gorgeous. Like, I really love their skin tone and everything. It's so gorgeous. Um, and she pretty much tells them about the drama that's going on with uh, Byron and his family and Kristen and all that. And they like, dang, none of them going to be at the wedding. His, Kristen on his son, that's his family. Like, y'all got to fix this. Like, And she's like, dang, everybody put, pushing us to fix this. So I know it's definitely a problem. Um, that was some bullshit, though. It was just like, cute episode. I mean, cute little thing but it was really irrelevant to the fucking hour that we have um malaysia talked with christy shawnee and evelyn about jen or more so they talked to her about jen and she said she'll apologize for the table but she but she was like well what, what am i apologizing for and they was like well uh jackie was like you could you could apologize for like the throwing a chair at the table at her or whatever she's like oh yeah 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 i was embarrassed about that but she wasn't you just doing it for your check. You just doing it because Shawnee said apologize to her for something. You like, I apologize for the table, but really in the back of your mind, it's the same thing. You don't fucking mean it, and you just said she she won't mean the apology. Um, she so she won't accept Jen's one because Jen ain't gonna mean it. But bitch, you ain't meaning it either. Um, while Jen and Dominique and OG on the other hand talk about Malaysia as well, and Dominique talk about something. She a real ass bitch. Like I like her, you know. She's she's cool though, and and, and Jen and uh and OG like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she like for real y'all don't think literally, she like look I'm not um threatened to buy Dominique and um Malaysia's friendship growing, cause I'm grown, the same grown person going around gossiping about your best friend and her daughter. Moving on, Jen doesn't think she uh, used Malaysia as well. She's a denial-ass bitch. Uh, Phoebe complains about the food and everything else. Shawnee acknowledges it. Shawnee looks like, she like, oh, not that, not that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, I guess I can only eat macaroni. Nah, I'm just going to go over here and act like I'm eating with you guys. Like, if you got food on your plate, then you're not acting like you're eating. You're eating something. Fucking go somewhere. Go off in a room somewhere. Get, matter of fact, get on a fucking flight, bitch. If you want to do all that, get the fuck out of here. Nobody want to hear all that. Oh, my God. It's not hot in here. Oh, I didn't have good sleep. It's, oh, I can't stand cranky bitches on no trip with me. I can't. Go the fuck somewhere with all that. Um... OG starts a convo at the um, breakfast table with Malaysia about the drive-by. Well, okay, y'all getting all antsy about this. And OG definitely told y'all up front that she wanted to talk amongst the whole lady. So she, all the ladies, so she can dead this. And y'all getting mad at her for when she um, pretty much wanted to present it at breakfast time. After she said her French prayer. And that was cute. They was like, Jackie Christie. She was like, no, um... I said, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, they say Christy, you know, fuck, like, y'all judge every fucking thing, talk about something, we was looking for more names, she would have said it in English, 
if she want like why you think she would be hiding what she want to say about y'all in her french language dumb bitches um anyway it was just hypocritical to me um og i said og throws byron and cc under the bus but uh not quite exactly she's pretty much like he's i didn't say he was um pretty much like y'all need to go back and talk to him and get it straight because um the conversation we had he was willing he was willing to say every i only asked about this uh you know certain parts of the relationship or her name was just brought up whatever and he brought all that stuff to me like he put all that shit on the table he pretty much uh started ranting and going all and pretty much vomited a mouth about y'all whole family dynamics. I didn't ask for all this crap. He, it was just put out there. But he said it was no big deal. And that's what I said. I ain't say he told me to use it as a fucking weapon. So y'all bitches stop saying it. Um, and um, pretty much uh, Malaysia was being condescending and shit. Talking about something. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was my fault. That was not your fault. And da 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 da. Like she's trying to dead the situation. Girl, you don't want no smoke. You don't want no flames. That's what it is. Um... I told you she's trying to put OG's stuff on a back burner because she want to hate her another part of the time of the show. She got to be still focused on Jen, okay? Um, then Evelyn, of all people, you just got out of something and you want to try to fill some more scenes. I don't think you should um, be in their situation at all in their family dynamics. You should pretty much um, stay out of it. And she said she think um, she was used by Cece. And she like, no. No, bitch, you're all the way fucking wrong as usual. Um, you be getting half parts of the story right and then all the parts of the fucking story wrong. Um, once again, I was not, um, I was not, um, she said, I, she admits that, uh, she wanted to say it because she was hurt by what Kristen, um, pretty much was saying about her fiance, Kwame, and she did it. She took it and did it as a low blow. And Cece didn't put no fucking battery in her back. It's like, bitch, you come for me, I'm going to come for you harder. Like, she pretty much, um, pretty much, you don't want no smoke. You don't, you don't get to tell nobody how bad I can hurt you when you fucking hurt me. You don't know how, what you did to me. Oh, you think I was supposed to brush over that Kwame one when you said stuff about Kwame? I'm supposed to be like, oh, bitch, shut up, you know? And not come at you hard? No, I'm going to come at you hard if you come at my family dynamics hard. I don't give a fuck if Kwame and I don't have a kid or not. And I, I should be able to take that more so because you're married and you have a daughter. No, fuck out of here. I'm going to hurt you the way you hurt me because I'm somebody's uh, fiance. Just like you're somebody's wife and somebody's mom. Oh, well, if I don't have a child, you don't talk to, to me about my fucking dude like that. So you get that same uh, energy back. And that's what you got. She said, you don't talk about me uh, and I don't talk about you. I won't hurt you then. And they agreed on that. Um, and then Phoebe talks trash about OG once again. Always a confessional gangster. Talking about some these little dust. It's always one dusty bitch that's on a trip with you complaining once again. Um, and she's always one of those dusty bitch that always got to say something, but you ain't saying shit at the table. You just looking like a little kid in the seat. Can you pass me the peas, please? Or pass me the bread? <laughs> Cause my kids don't eat peas like shit. Um, I'm gonna need you to sit your ass down because she went straight to you afterwards and you ain't say fucking nothing. Uh, so Phoebe wants to play her video to them. And um, they so they all go down in the little waiting room part. I don't know why they're in the waiting room part, but they go down. And then Jen uh, pulls OG to the side because she heard a version from Jackie that uh, pretty much Phoebe made a video about her and pretty much dogging and talking about her fake, what is it, Louis Vuitton or Versace, one of them shirts she have. I think it's Louis Vuitton shirt or something. And um, uh, she made a video about her and she don't want her to be blindsided like she didn't came into things and been blindsided so she told her about it and that was about the last two episodes ago when she told uh jen about that and um that was that on that part and then uh it's it goes to um byron and uh, og says she's definitely gonna um pretty much talk to her about that uh byron talks to cc about the talk with uh, Malaysia that she had and pretty much they just hipping her to whatever's going on. Cece thinks Malaysia always 
chooses um Kristen over any situation. So she's like, damn, does she do? Damn, does she don't? You fucking right. Um, Cece wants Byron to have a relationship with his kids because he's like, it's just me and you, babe. Whatever it is, it's me and you. And she's like, no, I don't want it to be me and you. I'm, I don't want it to be the one that look like I'm just making you choose me. It's good to be chosen by you first because most wives, they be getting chosen. The kids be getting chosen over the marriage and stuff. And the kids be more into uh, the man marriage more than um, the man's into his wife first. So that is good that she has that. But you don't ever want no regrets and be like, dang, I, I didn't want him to not have a relationship with his um, kids and his um, son. Yeah, his kids. Um, so OG finally confronts Phoebe about the rap. Phoebe, with her backtracking ass, um, she um, pretty much act like she didn't shade her. She was like, look... If you think that I shaded you because it was a subliminal message to your ass, uh, but it wasn't fucking necessarily all about you. It was a rap, like shit first, but it's for all you bitches like you that um be wearing the fake fake clothes, fake that, lie, lie, this and all that shit. Um Phoebe, you're a punk ass little bitch that um always claim that you're from New York, all this New York shit. That I hate when people like, I'm from this, I'm from New York, or even in my hood, D.C., I'm from Saratoga, I'm from Bird Farms, I'm from this, I'm from 34, I'm from Uptown, I'm, <laughs> I'm from Uptown, baby, Uptown, but anyway, still, I claim that as a good thing, I don't claim that as a, like, I'll beat your ass thing, I'll beat your ass in any state. You know what I'm saying? So that state of mind you have, because I did have a, I, I did have a friend that went to school with me, and she was from Jersey, and she always be like, "I'm mad this, I'm mad that," and we went out to the club, and she got up. You know how African women are. We went to this Caribbean night or whatever. Quick story, and she was all dancing and stuff, and then she looked at this guy that she really wanted, and he was all grinding on this girl that he'd been grinding with the whole night. And she like, watch this. I'm about to take him from her or whatever. I was like, girl, don't do that. You don't, this is D.C. She's like, man, psh, I'm from Jersey. Like, I don't give, like, you know, it's, I'm mad. I'm mad this. I be the be at, you know, all that. Bigging up her chest because she's from Jersey. What the fuck is Jersey? What is Jersey? Trees, gators, and what, what, what'd you have? Like, swampland? Like, what the fuck is Jersey? Okay, rats and shit. What is, what is Jersey? Um... But okay, that was my opinion. So she gonna go up and snatch the girl, pull the girl apart from the guy and snatch up the boy. And the girl like, what the fuck? And the girl was smaller than her. So she thought that she could dominate her whole time. You don't fucking know who people with. I told her the dynamics of my place, my hood. I said, you never know who's with who. You do that dumb shit right there. You're on your own because I'm not protecting somebody that that gets me into trouble because they don't know how to act in any fucking environment. That girl could be with a whole clique and you not know it. They in the same club and everything and you find your ass dead in the parking lot after the club or jumped in this club or stabbed up in the bathroom or anything like that. These dynamics in D.C., it'd be so many gangs out here. I mean, boys and girls in the same gang. I mean, you have like gangs where you have the fat um where you have the gay boys uh stabbing up girls too cutting their faces slicing their faces i have friends where they got into big brawls and then actual gay boys slicing up their face slice their ear her ear is sliced for life and all that literally you don't want to play at that game you know i know they got that in all places or whatever but you definitely don't want to play that in nation's capital for real it's, it's so many things out here you never know who's with who and boys do fight girls here. For real. Even straight ones at that. So it's like you did a dumb thing. And she pretty much wind out. Uh, wind up like hiding in the car. Because we was uh, riding with the girl at our college. That she was the only one that had the car on um, campus. So we rode back with her. And when we was getting into the car. The girl was like. You got all that stuff to say in the club. Come out now. Come out now bitch. And the little girl was, the little girl had her, um, had her crew behind her. And I guess that was one of her cousins that was with her sisters or something. And she was like, bitch, get out of here. You try to, you try to step to her. Bitch, get out of here. Step to us or whatever. It was a whole rack of them. 
versus us coming straight off of, and I'm from DC and I stayed here to go to school at Trinity U. And um, I stayed here and they was from out of town. So they was like, the, uh, the driver was like, uh, Daniel, get the fuck in the car. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's drive because nah. She was like, what the heck happened? What did you do in the club? And we drove her ass off. That girl wasn't getting out that car worth shit. She was fucking scared. You don't do that shit. And don't do that ever around me. Because I will fucking have your ass jumped. And I'll be like, you learn your lesson? Like, I won't try to let them kill you or nothing. But, you know, you need a fucking lesson learned. Don't fucking come to no other state that you don't know and talk about something. I'm from this. I'm from New York. I'm from Philly. I'm from... Bitch, you can get hurt still from any state. We could go to the state and still get your ass beat the fuck down by this Washingtonian. Like, don't ever get it twisted. <laughs> don't ever get it twisted. We're not conservative here. That's that's the lead that's a dang on downtown capital. We fucking rough your ass up, pretty much. Fade your shit up. That's what I'm saying. But, okay. Phoebe, stop talking shit. Pretty much, if you don't want them hands, like she said, she said, uh, <laughs> what did what did OG say about that? OG pretty much shaked her and was like, pretty much, um, you you talk shit, you say something. She said, I I look for I want blood, pretty much, and it's aggressive the way she's saying it, but that's what you are when somebody's saying something about you and they, they you're defensive because they're saying shit about you. Don't say shit about me. You won't get this aggression. And now everybody all talking about OG's aggression. Was it literally that much to go there? Like, yes, bitch. Don't tell me how to fucking feel when somebody's saying something about me and I only have me to protect me. Y'all hoes didn't say nothing about what she was saying. Nobody came to me about her making a fucking video of me except for Jen. Not even Jackie. So y'all all fake as hell. So don't tell me where to act when I feel like I'm the only got myself. I only fucking got myself. I'm going to defend myself. So all you bitches can suck a dick and kick rocks. Pretty much. That's how I would feel about the whole situation. And I wish she would have said that. But she, I guess she got to secure her check with Shawnee. So she can't put it right there. Or she will be. Thank you for your services. So, But at this point, I'd be like, fuck you, bitch. I don't care. Because I'm sure she got a lot more going on with her life. I think she is going to law school and all that. So, hey, fuck out of here. Um, and so, um, Phoebe played her little mediocre-ass song, Jim. was like, it's mediocre. And Jackie fake it. All right, girl, I can do it with this. I can, ah, you, you getting it? But um, you can take some justice like shit. I was cracking up laughing because it's funny. Like, okay, I see you, I see you. But um, for real, for real, let me give you a little bit of suggestions, a little bit of tips. <laughs> Like, it was just funny as hell the way she cut into that. And she wanted to sing as well. Because she's always the one got to do the most. Um, but that, that video was dumb as hell. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You twerking your little 10-year-old ass in front of the daggone car. On top of a rooftop. Looking at no fucking nice sight at all. Like, what the fuck was that? It was just corny as hell. You on the fucking gate at the basketball court. <laughs> like, that was corny as hell. The OG in the back, like. <sighs> and then um, Malaysia sizing the shit up. But um, Kirsten talks to her husband because they all left now. And uh, Kirsten is back home. She talks to her husband about what Malaysia said on the trip. And he pretty much like, that's good and all that you had clarity or whatever. But she, he was like, um, I still don't want to go to the wedding. I like, I think it's like more that I have to deal with with him and more, more for him to come clean on uh, before I feel like I really want to go to the wedding. But other than that, I'm not good with that. And um, Kirsten, of course going to blame CC for it. Like, dang, CC is really bringing a wedge between our family. Like, <sighs> this is probably the last time in this video I say any uh, opinion on that. But don't hold it against me if I do talk about it in the next one. But still, <laughs> I'm going to try not to talk about this ever again. I'm going to breeze over that because I don't care about their family dynamics. All of them could go fuck and suck a dick. Ugh. 
And she was, and I was like, what is wrong with her daughter's hair? I was like, her daughter's hair wasn't looking like that last season ago. It's like a whole bunch of thin, thinning and bald spots all over her hair. Like, did she have ringworms or something? Is it like some kind of little alopecia thing going on? Or like something really medical? Like, it was really sad to see. You need to focus more energy on that than focusing on Cece. That was sad shit to see. Don't put her on film like that. She going to go back and look at you putting her on film like that for a check. And that's about her health and stuff. And she going to have to grow up looking at that and everybody go back to look at that. That was so fucking stupid. Period. Um, Cece has uh, dinner with um, dinner and drinks with uh, Byron. And uh, no, OG has dinner <laughs> with Byron and Cece. And she talk about the pretty much the San Diego ego trip and pretty much tell them about everybody saying you, you you put a battery in my back or whatever but she like no you ain't put no fucking battery in my back so pretty much she was like she wanted some clarity about the ammunition comment or whatever um and i think byron lied and C and cc was just like i'm standing behind my man on what he said because if that's what he said he said then i'm standing behind him but i think byron like sized it down because he sized it up with Malaysia a little bit. Like, I would never get that ammunition like that. I just said, that's nothing new, whatever. But when you was talking with OG, you was vomiting of the mouth about your whole family dynamics and fuck Kristen and all this type of stuff. So, you pretty much um, knew what you was doing. And you put the ammunition out there. But don't use the word ammunition. Don't don't use my name and ammunition with OG is saying in the same sentence when it comes with them. I know what I want to say because I wanted to say it. Okay? And then Byron slice it all the way down. So that's a, to be continued. But like I said, I don't fucking want to really talk about that anymore. I'm So I'm going to breeze over that shit and just go on what's the main drama that's going on because I'm so tired of them. And I give a fuck if they come back on the next season or not. P please don't. Um... Uh, other than that, that super trailer was high. I can't wait to Tammy smack the holy hell out of Phoebe for real, for real. Uh, Malaysia and Jackie ain't nothing going to happen like shit. It's just fake as hell. Finally, everybody realizing Jackie is fake as hell. And the lie detector is going to tell it. Um, and what else I wanted to see? Like, why is they hating on... I think Tammy did, like, a cover shoot or something like that. And it probably was something that she was not even trying to... Like, something about her rap game. She's too old for the rap game or something something like that. It's like, she want to do other avenues of, like, making money and just, like, experimenting. Because she has the time to experiment with stuff like that. Who says somebody want to be a fucking rapper? Like, she just probably experimenting with things. But your ass, that's, that's coming from no bottom. You, you coming from less than bottom like shit, girl. Um, you coming from up out of dick. So you don't have the right to talk about nobody's rap career. You're a little too old for this. You're a little too nothing for no rap career. So um, I will hush on that. And she about to get yourself way together. And she talked about some Jackie again. Go in here and tell him what I'm saying. Duh, bitch. Jackie is fake as hell. You remember that dusty bitch you talk about? Always one of them dusty bitches in the group that always got to start shit. Oh, I think you meant Jackie, not OG. Fuck. Like, OG came straight to you and said what she said straight to you. You should appreciate that. But the fake bitch that you talk to every other scene, going run back and telling that, that's the one you should be looking out for. You dumb, 12-year-old, dusty-ass bitch. Yourself. Okay? And your rap, your rap game is some shit. Cool that out. Go back to fucking and sucking because that ain't doing nothing. Doing something else with your mind. Besides fucking complaining and backtracking like shit, bitch. But uh, till then, if y'all survived this end of the video, then y'all my real OGs. And um, I am team OG. I'm team Tammy. I'm team OG. I don't care, give a fuck about none of the rest of these bitches and definitely not Malaysia now. She's a funny, fake-ass bitch. And she been for a couple of seasons in the preseason when she was with Drea ass acting fake as shit. So all that little pretty girl crew crap that she be pulling, I never fucking really swag with her like that. I really just hated Laura Gomez and her sister, but I really still didn't fucking care for her. And this is really showing who she really is. But make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you leave your girl comment about what you think about this super trailer that they just showed, mid trailer. And, um, and uh, anything else I fucking said, 
your opinions and stuff, let me know. Let me know. All right? I'll holla. Bye.